In this video, let's quickly go over something that we often have to do during our design processes, and that's figuring out where objects cross, where in alignment, two alignments may meet, or where feature crosses or a sewer crossing or something like that that may control your horizontal and vertical controls of your design. Quick tour is that we have a topographic survey surface here. We have two alignments, aptly named road A and road B. I have created profiles and profile views of each of the alignments with a line road A having a proposed vertical alignment here. And down here is our profile for road B. And let's say in our design instance that we're getting ready for road B design and we need to know where we said road A crossed. So there's many ways, the old school way you would have found this station and labeled it, came over here, maybe done a label or scaled it or whatever and got it. You can now um, have dynamic labels to help you in that instance that will update and appropriately annotate things. And it's super easy. So let me zoom in here, get a little closer so we got some stuff here. I'm going to select the profile for profile B because so I'm wanting to label where a light road A crosses, both horizontally and vertically. So I'm going to select my profile for road B. And in the contextual ribbon up here in the launch pad, I can choose add crossings to profiles. It's just that easy. It prompts me to choose the object. Now you can choose alignments, features, anything that's 3D or even 2D. And you can add. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to hit enter and open up this dialog box. Now, because this is an alignment, it knows it's an alignment. <coughs> and this is the horizontal alignment. These are the profiles of said alignment. And you have the ability to control the symbology of each and also the elevations. So let me set these real fast. I'm going to come down here and say profile crossing. And let's do this label. And I'm going to turn the topo profile off, but leave my vertical alignment. And I want to say no marker, but I am going to turn on my label. Let's hit OK and see what happens. So down here in my profile, it added a line with some labeling and then a point with some labeling. Now this point with the verticality showing elevation is the profile. Alignments do not have any verticality. They are 2D objects. The profiles is what gives them the Z-axis information. As such, the horizontal crossing location of a feature or an alignment is displayed as this line because it's a single station. And these labels here are just built in my symbology. And you can control all that in your settings for your template file or in your drawing. Now, removing these is super easy. You just select just that easy. If I wanted to label only the horizontal location, let's say I hadn't done a a profile for each and I was just in the beginning of my design and I just want a tick mark for each. Maybe up here would be a good example. So I'll select this one. Go to add crossings. This time I'm going to be adding road B. And I just want the horizontal. Now notice that when I uncheck that, it turns off the horizontal. It won't let me have no profiles. I get around that by selecting the profiles and just removing them. And now I can do this. So let's come in here, choose our symbology and our labels. Hit OK. And now I have a nice marker showing me where road B crosses. Conversely, if I come down here, let's do B. I had a crossing, and we're going to add A. I just want the vertical. You can do that by unchecking the desire, undesired profiles. And since I don't want that line, you just simply change these to some symbology that doesn't place a marker or to a none. It's just that easy. Come in here, adjust these. And in your settings dialog box, you can help control these defaults um, in your templates so that you don't have to change these every time. And boom. And now I've got a tick mark with an elevation that I can design through. Now, all of this information is dynamic. So if I come over here, 
zoom out so you can see it move. And I changed this vertical alignment for road A. Not crazy like this. You can see that they are updating on the fly. And same thing will happen for divert horizontal control markers if you added horizontal controls. So it's just that easy adding them in there and hopefully this will help you get things going for uh, in your design and making dynamics and allowing you to hopefully design things in a quicker, more efficient way. If you like this, please click like and feel free to subscribe.